And now we receive this information from the National Weather Service that confirms ours a tornado about 15 miles south of Enid, uh, moving to the northeast. So it may take in the east part of Enid and on to the northeast. So once again, tornado warning for Garfield County. And if we come back down here, this tornado, as I mentioned, uh, still indicated on radar, but has not come down and touched the ground yet. We'll keep you advised. It still continues to be indicated by radar. There's a circulation with this about three miles across, and it's going to be moving, it uh, looks like, onto the northeast toward the Midwest City, Dell City area. And still, you folks in the Moore area should be extremely alert. And a tornado warning also continues for Garfield County up in northern Oklahoma. And all of these continue uh, in effect for about another uh, 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll keep you advised. Let's just, take, let's just do it this way. Let's take in, once again, about the eastern two-thirds of Oklahoma County, but near the intersection of Reno Street and Midwest Boulevard, Boulevard. Out in this area here, tornado reported on the ground, and we do have a very strong indication on radar. So tornado warning continues for the eastern two-thirds of Oklahoma County, the northwestern one-half of Lincoln County, and southeastern Logan County. So once again, on precautions, if you haven't heard it, if you don't have a cellar or basement, go to the center part of your house. Lowest level, smallest room, preferably a closet or bathroom. Wrap yourself in a blanket, put a mattress over you. This is Guthrie. This is Guthrie right in here. And here's Mill Hall. And this tornado is in northeastern Kingfisher County. It's going to be moving to the northeast through northern Logan County toward Orlando. A little bit later, Perry. Uh, Stillwater, it looks like it'll pass north of them, but Stillwater should keep advised of this. We do have a strong tornado indicated on radar, northeastern Kingfisher County, moving to the northeast. We'll keep you advised on that one. And also down here, tornado continues to be reported uh, in the eastern part of Oklahoma County. Uh, there has been quite a bit of damage reported. The extent of it, we don't know at the present time, but we're getting, uh, we've got many reports of tornadoes on the grounds, funnels, and quite a bit of damage. Some winds estimated in excess of 100 miles per hour. Also, could we take a look now at our radar, please? Okay, we're confirmed on this tornado indicated by radar now. Right, there it is, the center of the circle in northeastern Kingfisher County moving northeastward. Also, I do want to say, you folks, back to the west. A little bit earlier, it still may, there's a, we do have some indication of a circulation out in the west of El Reno and the Minko area, so that section should also be on alert to the possibility of a tornado. So with us here on 9, we'll keep you advised. Tornado warning continues now and has been extended officially. I gave this to you earlier, but extended over into Oklahoma County uh, to, uh, let's call it, they're calling all of Oklahoma County, but right now mainly it looks like it would be the eastern uh, one half of Oklahoma County, Lincoln, Logan, and Payne counties. And they've had a tor we've had several tornadoes confirmed, but they say here tornado confirmed just northeast of Oklahoma City, moving northeast at 30. We've had considerable damage reported, and please do not drive into these areas. Uh, just don't go out there. Let's take a quick look at our radar. Okay, up to the uh, north is where the this section of Oklahoma County, on up into Lincoln, and also they're extending it up into Logan and Payne County. Now we have a tornado indicated right up here. And that's moving across northern, moving across northern Logan County. Also, I might add that back down to a west of Oklahoma City, very strong thunderstorms are moving into the city area, so you should stay alert to the possibility of severe weather. Covers this part of Oklahoma County into Lincoln, on up into Payne, and back into Logan. Actually, there are two tornadoes. There's one up in this section northeast of Oklahoma City, moving toward Arcadia, Luther up this way. There's some indication that one is weakening just a little bit. Uh, however, we also indicate on radar a tornado in this general location. It'll be moving to the northeast or east-northeast. So tornado warning for Logan, Payne, northwestern Lincoln, and Oklahoma County. Right now, it is the eastern, about the eastern half of Oklahoma County. However, back to the west of Oklahoma City, we have very strong thunderstorms. We have been picking up some circulation back there, but no tornado indicated. So stay, uh, stay advised of the latest conditions, and we'll, we'll keep you advised. Okay, here's Oklahoma City. Here's Lake Hefner. Here's the turnpike going to Tulsa. The tornado indicated on our radar, very strong, right in this location. Now here is Arcadia and here's Luther, and it's moving on to the northeast at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. And uh, residents in Kearney, Four Corners, later Agra, especially Perkins, possibly Stillwater, and possibly Cushing should be alert to the possibility of a tornado. So once again, tornado warning continues for this section. We we'll call it Eastern Oklahoma County. Lincoln County, Payne County, and Logan County. We have another tornado indicated up moving uh, through northern Logan County 
and uh, we also have uh, a lot of other thunderstorms approaching the Oklahoma City area. Yeah. Tornado confirmed five north of Arcadia. We have a uh, confirmed on the ground. Yes. We have a tornado confirmed on the ground five miles north of Ar Arcadia. That's right where we just spotted it on our radar just a moment ago. I can't stress enough, you folks, the path of this storm, you should take immediate safety precautions. Uh, this is a major tornado and appears we're having a rather significant tornado outbreak. So everyone viewing, everyone in the area should prepare to take safety precautions. We have thunderstorms, strong ones approaching the Oklahoma City area.